Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be taking you along with me while I go through our homeschool carts. I have three of them, one for myself, one for my daughter, and one for my son. So it's going to take me quite a while to get through it. If you guys are anything like me at the end of a school year, you just wanna go through everything, you wanna prep out everything for the new year, clean out everything. Right now, that's kind of where I'm at, you guys. We just wrapped up our fourth year with homeschooling. Our homeschool room is, you guys, it's in complete chaos. I will show it to you guys. So today, I'm just gonna start working through my carts. Now, my sister does homeschool with me with her two girls, so she's coming over and she's gonna be working through hers as well. So we have a total of six carts in the school room, you guys. It's just, it's kind of crowded in here, but we love our school room, so we're gonna go ahead and start going through our carts. I'm just gonna share with you guys what the homeschool room looks like because throughout the next few weeks, I will be doing cleanouts, bookshelf cleanouts, games cleanouts, desks, things like that. We're gonna kind of be reorganizing a couple things with different furniture, not a lot, things that I already have that just make more sense for us to organize with. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of share with you guys what the room looks like. I'm a little embarrassed, but you know, it's just homeschooling in life, you guys. I can't, I can't do it all, you know what I mean? So I know you guys have to relate to me on this, but um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to mention if you guys need some motivation and you guys have a cart that you need to go through or a bookshelf or anything that needs to be organized for homeschool, go ahead and start it with me. Go ahead and grab yourself a, your favorite drink. I have mine on the table right now. I'm drinking coffee and I have a bottle of water. Um, but go ahead and grab yourself a drink, get your phone set up to where you can work right alongside me. So, so here's my daughter's desk area. We have some extra supplies under there. I have curriculum that I've been going through and doing videos with. This is the cart that I need to get done today. Um, so that's my daughter's area. And then all of this, it doesn't look that bad now that I'm looking at it, it just looks crowded. But the drawers are crazy inside. We still have some of that stuff to go through. Um, my niece's desk, her cat or her cart, I almost called it a caddy, her cart looks crazy. Those cubbies we're not even touching on today because they're crazy. Um, that looks okay. This is our science little cubbies or our little drawers that we do have to go through. We're done with all that stuff. Don't mind my pile of cords you guys hiding back there. I try to hide it behind there, but you can still see it. This has to be redone. We are gonna be moving furniture around. The two carts here, this one's my sister's, that one is mine. That's my tray that I need to go through. I have so much stuff in there that I'm doing or is for next year or I have to haul or you know, just stuff. Our summer reads I have there. Our bookcase is crazy, you guys. So we literally have no more space on that bookshelf. We have to pack away some of their little things that they did this year. That's my oldest niece's cart that has to be gone through. This is all kinds of her curriculum, stuff that I have coming out on my website stacked here that I have to do a video on. I have stuff in this cart, my trays I have to go through. And then this is my son's area and all of his little, you know, crafts and things he did throughout the year. And this is the cart that I am track or tackling today. So we are in for a little treat or chore or I don't know you guys, but there is so much stuff to get through. It feels so crowded in here, but there's six of us. So I just, you know, I blame it on that. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, I'm just gonna clear off the table so that I can start stacking piles on the table because we're gonna have piles of old curriculum that I plan to use with my son. And then we're gonna have stuff to just throw away, stuff to probably put in her little box or in her little um, scrapbook portfolio that I do for her each year. So I'm just gonna use this table to kind of put all of that. I may even have to use my kitchen table or I'll pull in another folding table. Um, but I've been working on our science units here. So these are the science unit books that I'm using. So that's what I've been working on, trying to get through some of those. So I'm gonna stick it over here, just add it to the pile over here, you guys. That's what I do, I move my piles. How many of you guys just move your piles? I do that quite often. And then it makes me feel better for a little bit because it looks cleaner in one area. <laughs> Um, the kids painted yesterday and I didn't really wipe it down after they did. 
so I also went ahead and moved our school table back into my kitchen because it used to be my kitchen table and um, we just started like eating out here on that table but I got this folding table from my dad he said that we could use it it's a little bit larger we thought that it'd be better because it's longer um, but I just don't like the way it looks so I don't know what I'm gonna do I haven't decided yet Where am I going to do this at? I'm just going to section this off into piles according to where I have to put them. Um, this I'm using next year. This I'll use next year. This I'll use next year. I have a pile that's going to be put away for my son. I have a pile that could go on the bookshelf because we are done with them. This I think I'm donating because that book was okay. Um, this is a bookmark. We already did this so we can put that away. This is all done. So this is all old curriculum that I may use with my son and I may not, I'm not sure the Anne Frank that we did. Bible. So what do you guys typically keep in your carts if you guys have a cart? Um, we keep curriculum like this is my cart. So we have all of um, my curriculum, teacher keys, things like that. And then I have like my supplies and stuff as well. So we have quite a bit. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping all the stuff that we need. Yeah. 
I just want to love you. All right, you guys, so I have two cards left to do. I did mine. This one's Tally's here. And then I have Isaiah's over there. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Here's the status of what it's looking like. I still have kind of a mess, but her cart is emptied and cleaned. And then I have the stuff that was inside the little containers I washed and they're drying. And now I have to put all of this stuff where it goes, at least in the you know piles or little containers or cubbies like this one here, so that I know what to do with them after. And then I will start on his cart. So Tally's is done. I basically just cleaned everything out, put away stuff that she's not going to need. I kept some flashcards and her little, her fake money that she could buy prizes next year with. This is some art stuff that we keep in their carts. And then I just have some empty composition books, her new sketchbook for next year. I just have some random stuff in here like her history that we have to finish next year before we start our new history. So now I'm going to move on to this cart, but, um, you guys, this cool. room is in complete chaos now, for sure. We're going through other things. My sister's pulling out stuff from her kids' carts and her cart. We're just trying to throw stuff away, doing piles for donate for homeschooling groups that we belong to, holding on to some stuff for Isaiah. It's just, it's just kind of crazy over here, but just keep in mind if you guys are organizing alongside of me to know that it always looks worse before it gets better. So just keep that in mind. Don't get discouraged. Just keep pushing on. if a lot of them are dead. If a lot of them are dead, I'm just gonna throw them away. Um, 
just because the time that it takes me to do it, I could be doing something else, but it's totally up to you guys on how you guys want to recycle your markers. I think this is actually our second year recycling these, so I feel like we got our money's worth. Going in the trash. Look, I have arthritis oil in there. These have to be clean. They are filthy. Look at that, you guys. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to share that with you guys. What to do with all these markers? Callie has a new set of markers that work really good, and she's been using these, I want to say two, three years, like a long time. So I'm kind of debating on if I just want to toss them. I know most of them are dying, and I don't know if I want to all that because this is what we are tackling right now so it's like do I want to spend the time on this or on this I don't know I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so, all cuz I've always been told the things were All right, so I just went through his manipulatives. I'm going to get rid of all of this, not use it cuz he didn't really touch on these. He mostly used from here, but I just took out some of the things that he wasn't using anymore and kept the things that he actually liked using to count with. So, I downsized. I'm trying to go through things and get rid of some stuff that we don't really use. Forever, I feel so free. Baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Cause I finally learned my lesson Isaiah doesn't need any of these anymore. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud. Opposites I want to work on right now with him because he's still having a hard time with opposites. Phonics that will keep. Addition will keep. Those, those. So I went through all of the flashcards. I got rid of most of them. I'm still keeping the opposites and a thing of um, shapes just to kind of go over with them. I have some addition and some phonics cards. So I'm keeping just a few things. Um, this is the Bible story book that I'll be reading to him over the summer. This is for recycle. I'm gonna donate, not donate, I'm giving these to someone I know. These are his manipulatives that I'm keeping and holding on for him. He'll need those through the year. These I'm gonna throw or do something with, I'm not quite sure yet. And then this is all the things that I'm going to give to um, my sister-in-law's nephews. So they're just getting into preschool age and one of them I think is like one. So I thought that these would be cool for, you know, the mom. I think she's going to do homeschool um, or she's talking about it. So I thought that these would be like a good little start for her, um, you know, to start working with her kiddos on. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys got some of your organization done with me as well. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Be safe, be blessed. Bye, guys. What if the world had more of your smile? 
What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars, 